Yo, what's up guys, Co Reefin here. Just gonna show you guys how I am going to sanitize everything that I use to culture my phytoplankton. And I'm gonna be doing that via some 70% alcohol. I do have some wipes there that I'm going to be using in conjunction with the alcohol itself. And everything you guys see here is going to be sanitized. I actually cut off a little piece of the airline tubing that I'm going to be using and attached it to the actual lid and it's on there pretty tight so that air hole you guys see there to the left should work pretty well um, this obviously I'm just gonna throw away and that's the airline tubing that I'm going to use uh, unfortunately the rigid airline tubing that I picked up is too wide that's what she said <laughs> on the inner and outer dimensions so my airline tubing actually fits straight into it so I'm gonna try doing this by just running the airline all the way to the very bottom and seeing how it bubbles I think it should work um, there's not much space inside of this actual tubing for it to kind of escape back up in through there and I'm gonna angle it this will sit inside sort of at an angle um, because the actual rigid tubing is below the cap um, I feel like I can mess with it a little bit and this airline tubing is pretty pretty flexible so yeah um, right now I'm just going to sanitize everything including the spout that this container comes with um, this is a plastic container but it's my first time taking a stab at it. I do have some five gallon carboys, but those are just way too big for culturing phytoplankton, I think. I know like stores and stuff do that, but for me, I think this two gallon little plastic container with a spout would work perfectly. So I'm gonna sanitize all this stuff, guys, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after. A few moments later. So, I have now sanitized everything thoroughly. I do need to clean the, what do you call it? The rigid tubing that's inside the container right now. But I am going to put some RO water in here to make sure that it doesn't leak at the spout. But yeah, everything is wiped down. Nothing smells like alcohol. I made sure of it. Um, I actually wiped everything down with alcohol first and then I wiped everything down with RO water afterwards a couple times to make sure that all of the alcohol smell was gone but everything is still sanitized again I'm gonna fill it up up to the spout which isn't that much with RO water just to make sure that it doesn't leak it's almost ready guys 2,000 years later check it out guys um, I have put RO water and it doesn't seem to be leaking. I went a little bit higher and then everything after after I take everything out of here I'm just going to wipe it down again with towels that I have to make sure everything does stay sanitized but I will throw out this RO water and I actually have some salt water at the salinity of 1.018 everybody uses something different there's this guy on YouTube I totally oh I think his name is Gio if you guys haven't checked out his channel check out his channel he actually breeds clownfish like crazy amount of clownfish uh, I think he lives in Florida but his Fido and clownfish setup is insane check him out but he actually does Fido at 1.016 salinity. So I've seen others that do it at 1.020 and then some that do it at like regular salt water tank salinities 1.025. So I'm gonna be somewhere in the middle. I'm planning on doing it at 1.018. So this is the setup here guys. This is just like a grow light from Amazon. I attached it to this little crawl space door that I have it should work I am gonna put that light on a timer for 16 hours on a day and then I kind of like that it has those arms so that I can kind of point the light 
at different parts of the actual container my thought process behind this was to do obviously both two gallon containers I only have one here off to the left but once this is done I'm gonna use part of that one to get this one going again and then I'm gonna use part of that one to also get this other one going again and I'll show you guys here in a second the containers that I'm gonna be putting all of the gun Fido into and it's just little plastic containers that I got from Amazon but yeah guys this is the setup I am gonna have the air pump up here uh, power supply somewhere around here probably somewhere back here since the outlets back there so yeah let me empty out this RO water from this container and uh, throw in some salt water and uh, get this thing going I'm so excited so here we have the live phytoplankton doing some nano crop just some nano I'm doing some nanos all right and then on this right side here we have our F2 already took out my sanitized pipette out of that container that I have like a couple hundred I don't know I forgot exactly how many but yeah let me open this Fido here see if I can do this with one hand nope give me a sec guys so here we have 32 ounces of the nanochloropsis Fido and I am now going to dump it into my container here I'm gonna do this first and then I'm gonna add the salt water wish me luck guys on my first culture of Fido cool most of that is out and now let's get some salt water in here from over here I might just pump it through a hose to be honest so this is the setup guys here let me turn off these lights so you guys can see a little bit better they're pretty bright and they're messing up the picture Aye -aye! oh there we go I'll leave one on that's the uh, amount of bubbles that I decided to kind of keep it going at I'm hoping it's good I added my f2 in there yeah, let's see what happens from day to day. The lights worked out perfectly. The airline did come with a little valve where you can regulate how much air is being pushed. It's barely open to be honest. It goes way harder than that. They're stronger than that. I also added this so that water wouldn't run back up into it, but it won't I think because it's higher than it. So nothing to worry about there. And then I added a little multi power supply there because I only had one outlet available back there and I needed two. One for the air pump and one for the lights. So what do you guys think of my Fido setup? Let me know if I did anything wrong, if I messed up. This is my first time, so I'm hoping I don't kill my first culture, but we'll see guys. One thing I forgot to mention is I did put the lights on a timer. It's all via Bluetooth, via an app. And this pretty much just says every day it's going to turn on at 6. And then every day it's going to turn off at 10 p.m. I like using these Bluetooth things. It's kind of like having an Apex, but not being able to uh, control anything else with this. All right, guys. Later. Go back to your lives, citizens. Show's over.